Warning, the fruitarian diet, also known as the raw vegan diet or the 80-10-10 diet, is the most dangerous diet in the world. Yes, you heard me right, the most dangerous in the world. And there's very good reasons as to why, and I will explain in a short while. But just to give you a bit of a backstory, I am someone that you see a fruitarian diet many years ago for around two years. And I learned from all of the so-called best raw vegan and fruitarian teachers out there. I got all the books. I listened to all of the YouTubers that are promoting this diet. I just went fully into it, made sure I was eating the highest quality fruit, making sure it was ripe, having enough calories, and just doing everything that they told me to do. And I even moved to Thailand so I could get even better fruit. I went to so many different fruit festivals, hung around with so many other people that are into this diet and so on. So I am someone that has a lot of direct experience with this diet and I was doing it very rigidly to a T. And it was the diet that messed up my health the most because it is not meant to be a diet that you're on long term. Unlike what a lot of these raw food teachers and preachers that are very dogmatic and idealistic and very evangelistic, that just say, it's the best diet in the world. We are frugivores by design and we're meant to eat this, which that is a load of crap. There's no science to back that up. And there's a lot of science to prove that statement wrong. And man, it's like, I'm not someone that normally gets brainwashed by people, but I got heavily brainwashed by the raw vegan cult. And I thought it was the best thing in the world because guess what? When I got on it, at first I felt really good, but yes, you can do. It's a good elimination diet or a detoxification diet that is good for short-term use. Not everyone gets on with it, but a lot of people do short-term. But in the long-term grand scheme of things, it's not good. And the reason why the people that promote this are very dangerous is because they say that any issues and symptoms that you are getting on this diet is just detox symptoms. So you just need to detox more. So go and do a mono cleanse where you just eat one fruit for an extended period of time or do a coconut water fast or do extended dry fasting or a water fast, which is really dangerous. Not that those things are inherently dangerous, but the reason is, is this diet is such a limiting diet that you don't meet all of your essential fatty acid needs. You don't get all the different amino acids that you need to function optimally and to be the healthiest possible. It doesn't give you every single vitamin and mineral you need and other nutrients. So your body gets all of the different macro micronutrients it needs to be the healthiest possible so you can thrive and so your digestion is the best and your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, and so on. And this diet, yes, it is one of the most extreme malnourishing, deteriorating diets out there due to the reasons that I've just mentioned. So for me, I ran into so many different nutritional deficiencies. So guess what? I go and do this cleanse and this cleanse and that one and that one. And I would just keep deteriorating because I still wasn't getting what I needed. And then when you're doing things such as water fasting, when you're already deficient, you're making the deficiency even worse which is not good, especially if you end up with a deficiency such as a B12 deficiency, you can end up with irreversible neurological and nerve damage. So this is something not to mess around with whatsoever. And this is why I'm very passionate in this video because I listen to these evangelistic, dogmatic, raw food teachers out there and I believe what they were saying, well, I took it as gospel, should I even say, and... <sighs> I just stuck on this diet longer than was ideal for me to do because it was just not working for me. And I needed to add in a lot of different animal-based foods, but guess what I did? I just switched to eating a lot of cooked vegan foods. That worked for a while and then I deteriorated and that's why around 40 days ago, I started going back to animal-based foods, which got me to a point where I'm at now where I'm thriving the most that I ever have in my whole human experience. So yeah, the whole vegan diet, whether it's raw or not, is a huge issue, but that's a topic for another video. So I want to stay on topic with what we're talking about now, which is this fruitarian diet. And oh my God, do you know how many people that I've met that have been having the same thing happen long term? Endless amounts. You see a lot of people that within the first six months to a year, they normally feel really good. And then I've met loads of these people that I'm about to explain now 
Years later, they start feeling like crap and they keep doing it because they're like, oh, it used to work so good with me. I used to feel so amazing for it. Well, it's not working for you now. So switch things up. Start deprogramming yourself and start trying some animal-based foods that are gonna give you all of the nutrients that you've been lacking for so long so you can function to the best of your ability. And look at Raw Bliss. Oh my God, if you don't know about him, I'll put a link up above. He's one of the most skinniest, weak, frail, malnourished fruitarians out there that I've ever seen. He looks like Jack Skeleton in real life. And I'm actually concerned for him. I made a lot of response videos on him because man, it's just completely destroying him like it just was for me and many other people out there. And I have many friends that still follow this diet and you look at them and you're like, man, what are you doing? It's obviously not working for you. Switch things up, try something else. Start eating some high quality grass fed, pasture raised beef and high quality wild caught fish and even things such as ghee and beef tallow and raw dairy and raw butter, even raw cream and all of the most highest quality animal foods that you can get because as I mentioned in some videos recently, which I will link up above as well, I never eat factory farm meat and I make sure that I always try and source as much as I possibly can the most highest quality animal foods because they're the most nutrient dense and they don't have hormones and antibiotics and other toxic substances added to them. So whatever you do, just steer clear of these people. And if you have someone in your life that's eating this way and you see them go downhill, try and share this video with them. Maybe it'll open up their eyes. But what a lot of them will say to me is, well, you did it wrong. You didn't do it correct. You did it wrong because of this reason and that one and that one and that one and it's like, oh my God. It's just not meant for us. We are meant to eat a varied diet that has so many different foods in so we can get the widest variety of nutrition so we can live the longest and just get everything functioning to the highest level possible so we can have the best human experience and have so much energy to do the things that we want to do so we can live the most fullest enriched life possible. And yeah, one last thing I wanna mention is the type of people that get drawn to this diet, and I used to be someone that's like this, some people may think that I'm still like this, but I'm not at all. Very extreme people get drawn to this. And I don't know, some people could do it for egotistical reasons, some people could do it due to the programming that they've had, programmed within their mind for the raw food teachers, or they just believe, based on their own opinion, it's the best diet for them. I thought that we were frugivores by design and it was the best diet for us, just like so many people that get on this diet. But then I found a lot of that's garbage and not all cooked foods is poison because they say all cooked foods are poison, which is absolutely insane. That is such a broad statement. Certain cooked foods and certain raw foods are bad for you. But to say all of them are bad is absolutely ridiculous. And guess what? Once I started eating other foods that actually give me nutrients I've been lacking so long, that's when I started to feel the best that I could feel. So that's it from me and this video. What's your thoughts on this? Let us know down below. Do you have any experience with a fruitarian diet? Did it ruin your health? Let us know down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me in the near future. And make sure that when you click that subscribe button, you click the bell notification button, next subscribe button. Otherwise, you will not be notified of when those new videos are uploaded. And I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, enjoy your day, and make the most of it. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.